Today we're in a field here in South Georgia that was uh, planted strip till and the corn stubble residue. You can see there's a lot of trash on the ground and uh, left from last year's crop. And today I'd like to talk about northern leaf blight. Uh, northern leaf blight has been a developing issue here in South Georgia over the last couple of years. And uh, it's favored by free moisture on the plant, high humidity, and temperatures between uh, 65 and 80 degrees. Uh, it overwinters in corn residue and it can either be spread by the air or by splashing rain from residue up on the small leaves and plant. Uh, some keys to identifying northern leaf blight is to look for a, a thin, narrow, canoe shaped or cigar shaped that tapers at the end, uh, the dark tan, the brown lesion that's approximately uh, three to six inches long and oftentimes will be a uh, half to one inch wide. This lesion is not quite full blown yet. Uh, and there'll also be some dirty peppery looking uh, spores in the middle of these lesions oftentimes. Um, Northern leaf blight can easily be confused at this point with uh, uh, leaf miner damage or uh, fertilizer burn damage. So uh, make sure that you either get a lab diagnosis or a positive ID on uh, northern leaf blight lesions. As you begin to scout for northern leaf blight, uh, you will note that corn can, can be infected as early as v, V7, V8, uh, but it's certainly a lot more susceptible after pollination.